Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I like to curl slash wave my hair. Um, I don't like perfectly curled hair. I definitely go for more of a messy hair look and I've been getting a ton of requests on how I've been kind of styling my shorter hair. So today I'm gonna to show you what products I use from in the shower, outside the shower, right before I style my hair, while I style my hair, after I style my hair. We're gonna go through all the products that I use. I'm gonna show you what tools that I really like. And this is seriously such an easy, easy hair look. And I think the biggest part of just doing your hair is just figuring out what you like, figuring out what works with your texture, and your hair length and whatever just kind of fits with your own style. Not everyone's gonna love this way that I do my hair, but you can kind of just take bits and pieces and incorporate into your hair routine and really put your own spin on it. And for me, this has been one of my favorite ways to style my hair, it's so easy. And um, just as a mom who doesn't have a lot of time to do her hair in the mornings, this is a really quick and easy routine and it lasts for days. So I just do it once and I can wear it for several days after that and I don't have to worry about styling my hair again. So before we get into the video, grab a beverage, grab a snack. I actually don't have anything in front of me right now. I just got into doing my hair, but make sure you grab something to drink and let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so let's go ahead and hop right in. I've got some things to go over, some products to go over, tools before we get into actually styling my hair. Um, so really quickly, I wanna talk about my hair type. I have very fine hair, but I have a lot of it. So it's very, very fine, but you know, I've got a good amount of hair. And I also have very color treated hair. So uh, I am naturally a light brunette. Uh, so all this blonde is uh, not real. So just kind of take that into consideration when I'm talking about products that I'm using um, because everyone's hair type is different. Everyone's going to need different things. So I just want to talk about some of my kind of like go-to hair products that I'm using on a regular basis. First, shampoo and conditioner. Uh, all of these products are by r Co, but this video is not sponsored or in collaboration. My mom's salon actually sells r Co, and so whenever I go get my hair done, she uses r Co on me, and I just love, I love the brand. Everything is very effective. Um, it's just good, good products, and everything is also vegan and cruelty-free. So for shampoo and conditioner, I love the Television Perfect Hair Shampoo and the Television Perfect Hair Conditioner. I've been using these for a couple weeks since I chopped my hair. Um, these were recommended to me at the salon, so I've been using these and I really, really like them. Um, I may dabble and try other shampoo and conditioners from r Co. just because I love trying all of their stuff. They have so many different options so i'm always trying new things but these are the ones that i'm using right now and i love them like my hair is just air dried right now it and it feels amazing it's super soft shiny and just healthy feeling so that's my shampoo and conditioner then when i get out of the shower two products that i cannot i know this gonna sound so dramatic but i cannot live without like these are my go-to hair products i've repurchased one of these several times and that is the r and Co. High Dive Moisture and Shine Cream and the r and Co. Two-Way Mirror Shine Oil, Smoothing Oil. So these two are my go-tos. I think if I had to pick one, it would definitely, definitely be High Dive. Uh, this is a leave-in, kind of like a leave-in conditioner, leave-in treatment. So uh, right after I get out of the shower, kind of dry off my hair, I take a good amount of this, apply it uh, starting at the ends, and then I work my way up because your scalp is naturally going to produce oils. It may be a little bit more oily, so you always want to apply the majority of the product towards your ends. That's typically where you have the most kind of damage anyway. So I start at the ends, work my way up. This is the best. Chris uses this. I use this on my boys. It is the best leave-in conditioner ever. So I've repurchased this three or four times and I'm absolutely obsessed. And then I love this two-way mirror smoothing oil. Um, and actually what I'll do sometimes is I'll mix it in with the moisture shine cream or I'll just take one or two pumps 
and just apply this to my ends just to get those nice and healthy and soft and um because the ends you know they can tend to feel a little bit more dry so i love using this on my ends so i love both of these i think if i had to choose one definitely high dive but these mixed together separately i mean it's a fantastic duo and it, this is basically the reason why my hair just looks and feels so soft and buttery and shiny. So absolutely obsessed with those. Now, when I wanna do a deep treatment, my favorite hair mask is the r Co. Television Perfect Hair Mask. This is amazing. So what I like to do when I use this, um, I, I like to sleep on it. I don't like to wear it throughout the day, which you definitely can. Um, I'll, I'll usually just put it in my hair, put it in a bun and go about my day and you can't even tell that I'm wearing a mask. But the way I've been doing it recently is taking a shower at the end of the day, shampoo my hair, I don't condition it, uh, get out of the shower and I apply this all over my hair, put it in a bun and sleep on it. And then either the next morning or even the next evening, I'll leave it on all night, all day, and then the next evening I'll rinse it out. And my hair feels like brand new virgin hair. It feels so amazing. This is uh, definitely uh, my favorite hair mask. It's so, so good. You don't need a lot. It's potent and it makes such a big difference in my hair. So uh, I love all these products. I used all of these when I had, uh, well, most of these when I had long hair. So I loved them with long hair. I love them with short hair. And um, they just always make my hair look and feel so incredible. All right, so now we're going to get into the part that y'all actually want to see, and that is the styling part. So I'm going to talk about one more product, and then I'm going to show you some tools, and then we'll get into it. So I've already talked about this, so I'm not going to harp on this too long, but this is the r Co. Trophy Shine and Texture Spray. This is my holy grail styling product. If I could just have one styling product, it would be this. It's my texturizing spray. It's my uh, kind of hair spray, hold spray. It's going to give me a little bit of shine. So it really is an all-in-one product. And if I could recommend one styling product from r Co., it would be this. So I use this before I style my hair and I use it afterwards. So I'm going to go and give it a good shake and spray this throughout my hair. Again, this is just air dried hair from last night. So I just kind of really work it in there. There's no like real amount that you should do. You just kind of have to do it at your own discretion. Maybe start off with a little and then um, you can always add more. But I really get it in my hair from root to ends. And it kind of gives your hair a little bit of grip. And something for your um, heat to stick to. So we are going to be using some tools. And I find that applying a little bit of this before I go in with heat gives my hair a little bit of grippiness and something for the uh, the heat to really grab onto. And then for tools, I have to, you don't have to use these particular ones, these are just the ones that I use. You can kind of, you know, look in your own cabinet and see what you have or, you know, whatever is more convenient for you. Um, but I love a styling wand. Um, I think it's just the easiest to use. This one is by Eva NYC. I don't know if y'all can see it. I don't know the exact size of this, it might be a one inch. Maybe, I don't know what that looks like. Um, but styling wands are really nice because you can just wrap your hair. You don't have to worry about having a clip. And for me, it's just really quick and easy. And this one is actually really, really good. I, I like this one a lot. And then some kind of flat iron. So this is from Bubliss, or I don't know how you say it. This is a fantastic, fantastic line of straighteners. If you can kind of shell out the money for these, the smaller one, the smaller one is uh, quite a bit more affordable. I know their bigger ones can get very, very pricey, but these are by far the best flat irons that I've ever used. I actually used to work at a salon several years ago and a lot of the stylists use the, the use this brand of flat irons. We actually sold them at the salon too. And um, they're incredible. They're really, really good. So like I said, I know the larger ones can get quite pricey, but um, it's just, they're really good. They get really hot, but they don't fry your hair. And um, yeah, just really good quality. They last a really long time. So we're gonna use a combination of those two. I'm, I know it seems like a lot, but I promise it's really not that difficult. So now we're gonna get into actual styling. So whether you have long hair or short hair like mine, you can do this style, just kind of, you know, fit it to your needs and fit it to your hair length. But I'm just gonna show you how I've been styling my new do. 
and it's really quick like it does not take me hardly any time honestly talking about all of this takes longer than actually doing my hair so i'm going to start with the curling wand make sure i don't fry myself i'm going to start off with the curling wand and just pick a side i like to part my hair in the middle whether you you know if you like to side part your hair you can still do the same method but i just prefer to part my hair in the middle and i'm going to start with this little front section um i do like about that size of a section it just depends on how tight you want your curl so the less the smaller of a section you use the more tight the curl is going to be the larger of a section that you use the more loose the curl is going to be so just kind of up to your preference you know whatever whatever you want to do but I'm going to take about that much and I'm going to start the curling wand um, not up at the top I'm going to go about was that like four inches down I'm gonna start kind of almost at the middle of my hair and just very lightly do one little wrap of my hair I'm gonna let it sit and I have my curling wand at the highest heat setting which is 450 degrees um, so just let you know it's pretty hot so let that sit and then I unwrap it and then I pull on it and pulling on it is gonna loosen it up quite a bit and then I just kind of let it hang we won't come back to this, but we're just going to do this little step right now. So now I'm going to go on to my next little section. Now here's where I change it up. So rather than going out like this and curling away from my face, I interchange the curl. So I'm going to go towards my face. Again, I'm starting more towards the middle of my hair. I'm leaving the end out so that doesn't get too curly. And I'm just going to let this sit here, get hot. And then I'm going to remove the curling one and again just kind of give it a good little tug. But by doing this, so you have one curl, hello, one curl going this way, this way, hello, one curl going towards my face, they're not all going to bunch together and make one big like curl, if you know what I mean. So because they're going in opposite directions, they're going to stay nice and separated. So it looks a little bit more PC and for me, I feel like it looks more natural this way. So. I'm ignoring all of this hair underneath because I don't need to curl that. If I, uh, if I curl that, my hair tends to look too poofy and honestly, none of this hair is gonna show. So I'm just curling basically the top section of my head. Now, if you have longer hair, you may need to go in and curl underneath here, but just for me, because my hair is so short, if I start curling under here, it just starts giving my hair volume under here and makes my hair look more like a bowl. So now I'm curling this piece away from my face. Again, just alternating. I started at the middle of my hair, leaving the end out. And I'm just gonna let this sit here for a second. All right, unravel it, give it a little tug, and there you go. So I'm just gonna keep doing this until I am happy with the number of curls. And you can always go back in, like I'm probably gonna go back in and curl this little piece right here. So you can always go back in and kind of tweak things. But I'm just gonna kind of get through the majority of the hair. And then you can always go in and add little curls where you need it and tweak things and switch them up. This way, this time I'm going towards my face because I went away from my face on the last piece. Give that a good little tug. And then I'm gonna go to the back. I don't know if y'all be able to see this. Now at the back of my hair, I actually like to start a little bit higher on my hair, just to give kind of the back of my hair a little bit more volume. But I'm still leaving the end out. Hopefully y'all can see this. I am not the best at describing how to do hair. This is why I don't do hair tutorials. <laughs> but this is really easy. I know it may seem like it's really difficult. I promise it's so easy. And this takes me basically no time to do. All right, so I'm just gonna go back in. I'm gonna curl this little piece. So I'm pretty happy with this side. I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to let it sit here. I have not run my fingers through it or anything. I'm just going to let it sit here, marinate, cool down, 
and that way it'll kind of set and then we'll go in and kind of mess with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the other side. This side for me is a little more tricky because I'm right-handed, so I'm having to kind of reach over. So hopefully y'all still be able to see it, but I'm gonna start with this little front section. I'm doing the exact same thing that I did on the other side. I'm going away from my face with this first piece and that's just preference. I like the front pieces on my hair to kind of go away from my face, kind of like Farrah Fawcett. Um, I just like the way it looks. You can, of course, do it however which way you want. But that's just how I like to start. And I'm just give a little tug. So you can kind of see it, it's turning away from my face rather than going towards my face. I just like the way that it looks. But you can, of course, tweak that. Ooh, actually, I'm going to curl this a little bit more. I'm just leaving the end out. There we go. It's better. All right, I'm going to go to the next little section. I'm going to go towards my face. Start on, almost to the middle. So now that I've done both sides, I've let them kind of sit. I'm going to take my fingers and just run them through my hair. You can see it's just a nice kind of loose curl. Do the same on this side. All right, so you can definitely leave your hair like this. I like an even more kind of lived in, relaxed look. So I'm gonna show you how you can kind of take this a step further. This of course is a great, just wavy look, but I just like to tweak it a little bit. Now if your ends are feeling a little dry at this point, you can take the R & Co Two Way Mirror Smoothing Oil, just take a little bit of that and rub it on your ends if they're feeling a little bit dry. You can use this on wet or dry hair, so it's a great, great product for that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit more of my Trophy Spray. All right, so this is where we pull in the flat iron. Again, this is an additional step. You don't have to do this, but for me, it doesn't take too much additional time, and I just like the effect that it gives my wave. So I'm gonna take my curling iron, and I'm just gonna focus this right on the very, very ends of the curl, and I just kind of curl it, curve the hair outwards, so kind of going away from my face. I just like the way it looks. You can kind of see it just Makes it look a little bit more PC, not so perfectly curled, almost like it's my natural wave. And I don't do this with all of my hair. I just do it for kind of these top pieces. I just take the curl, go in at the end, and just do this little motion, and then run my fingers through it. And it just gives it a little bit more of a modern look. Again, kind of separates the hair a little bit more makes it less of a perfect defined curl. I just love the way that this looks. I feel like this is where my hair just really transforms. So you can kind of see this side, the difference between this side and this side, how it's a little straighter at the ends. Just gives it a little bit more of a modern flair. So um, I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. guys so that is it that's how I do my kind of messy tousled waves I know it seems like a lot of steps and it seems like it takes a long time but really this does not take me a lot of time at all especially considering that I'm only curling basically the top half of my hair all of this underneath that's just my natural hair I didn't even touch that so I've only curled the top section of my hair so easy and if you use a spray like the trophy spray this will last you for days you will not have to do anything with your hair you may need to run a the wand through your hair maybe a couple times 
um, you know, the next morning. But honestly, I think the more you sleep on it, the more kind of lived in it becomes, the better it looks. And just as the days go on, I feel like my hair actually starts to look a little bit better. All right, and then one final step just to finish off the look. I am going to take a little bit more of this smoothing oil and just kind of just kind of rub it right into my ends just to keep these nice and shiny, especially this little front part. I like to add a little bit to the front so it's nice and shiny. You can, of course, skip this step, but I do have a drier hair type, um, especially just with all this color in it. So I like to take a little bit of this oil and just finish off the look. All right, guys, that completes this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found this helpful. I will link all of the products and tools that I use down below. And of course, if you have any, any additional questions, please feel free to comment. I'm not the best at hair tutorials, so I hope that my explanation was uh, helpful and you actually understood what I was trying to say. But I just feel like don't stress too much. Don't stress about your hair. Honestly, the more messy and kind of disheveled it looks, the better. Like I, I love when my hair just looks like I haven't really done anything to it. Maybe spent a few days at the beach, got a little salt in my hair. And it just looks really PC and kind of undone and messy. So don't stress out too much. Um, just kind of, it takes time to just kind of play with your own hair texture, kind of figure out what works, what doesn't. It, it definitely took me some time to kind of figure out how to style my shorter hair. And once you get it down, it's so, so, so easy. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.